Among Us, the game that's taking everyone by storm. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone, such as our cat wife Fubuki and our cute doggo Korone. Now, it's not just them, tons of game devs have also been making their own adaptation of the game, and it's about time I too hopped onto that train. Ah, ore zombies. Um, I said train, but I guess trucking will suffice. Anyway, before we get started, what makes mine different? Well, unlike everyone else, it took me two freaking months to make my version. It's kind of sus how these other game devs got done with their versions right away. Or I'm just dumb, and it's probably the latter, because who in their right mind, with Ernie having learning how to make games for the last four months, decides to make Among Us? And also, my game is multiplayer, so there's that. And unlike everyone else who used Unity to make the game, I use Goldot. So yeah. And my game's the Garbage Edition. So uh, yeah, with that said, let's get started. So the first thing I had to do was I actually had to learn how to make a 3D game and how networking works because I had no freaking idea what I was doing. So I made a test project where I actually set up a connection and I could actually, you know, move a 3D character around and stuff. Now, uh, there was a slight issue <laughs> where if you moved a character, it kind of, kind of, kind of moved the other one also. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we did eventually reach this point here where uh, that was no longer an issue, so we did manage to fix that. So, yay! Progress! Oh god, I died just trying to make this work. But yeah, we did get in the end. And then we used that test project to actually set up a lobby for the actual Among Us garbage edition game that I made. Now I did realize that at this point that I couldn't actually use the uh, networking that I learned how to do which was peer to peer because I needed a server to client connection so I had to actually go back and learn how to do that instead and it turns out there's no tutorial whatsoever in Goldat on how to do a server to client uh, connection so there's that and I had an amazing time uh, doing a bunch of experiments Experimentation and a lot of reading and documentation reading because like I said no tutorials whatsoever so that was fun so yeah anyway I'm here just working on the lobby after I realized that and god I'm telling you it was god awful anyway I did a bunch of coding uh, which is what I'm doing here and yeah just like this we'll we'll get a server here Just like I said, look at that. We are done with the server. Now, uh, before we actually test it, uh, we kind of actually need a player to move around in the server and world. So uh, I just made a quick uh, bean guy and added some code to actually move him around and stuff. And here we go. Uh, we actually have in the world right now, we don't actually have it connected to the network. And there's a slight issue where he kind of just uh, floats, so uh, we kind of have to add gravity. So uh, with this code now, uh, we should have gravity. Um, I, I, I said gravity, not fly, okay. Uh, well, let's try again here. Let's see, do we have gravity this time? Bam, we actually have it, oh my god. Uh, that was a lot, uh, it took a lot longer than I want to admit, but now look at that, we have a working network where you can see the other players and yeah, they can move around and stuff. And then uh, I did add some code to actually allow you to select what team you want to be, so if you want to be the bystander or imposter for testing purposes. And yeah, here we go. As you can see, you can actually be imposter because it says in the console that you're the imposter, but you can't actually do anything differently from the bystander because I haven't added any functionality whatsoever. So let's actually add some functionality for the imposter here. And with this quick amount of code, we should now be good to go. So let's run this. Oh, and I did also add uh, the functionality to actually allow you to pick what color you want to be uh, by uh, using the little uh, color section with the color wheel thing. And yeah, you can, you know, put your name, select the team you want to be on. And yeah, let's run this 
And look at that! So we have different colors now in the game, different beans of different colors. And now if you're the imposter and you press E like it tells you when uh, for interacting, this happens now. Yes! Look at that! We turn the other player cyan. And also, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but the color is actually saved. Uh, so once if you launch the game again, it is actually saved and you can just u reuse it, I guess. And it was about time that I actually modeled uh, the actual player model, so here I am in Blender just modeling the, uh, the little guy. And uh, <laughs> this took a lot longer than I want to admit, but we did eventually get it. Uh, after some trial and error, <laughs> I did add some uh, materials to it and added some bones so I could actually properly rig it and actually add the walking animation that you know we kind of need for the game. So uh, yeah, here's that. And look at that, it's it's done basically. <laughs> now all we have to do is take that to the game before, but before that I actually made a test level uh, to test out the game. So here we are, we actually have a test level now and I did change the uh, imposter code to change the killing mechanism. I did have to change the code because it wasn't working uh, uh, properly. <laughs> so I did change it and now it turns the player red and it says dead when you kill them. And instead of adding the player, I instead then worked on making some tasks. So here we are making the download task uh, with <laughs> nothing but go that the default icons. And yeah, download task, which is totally not working. And it's doing everything in reverse. Just freaking great. But after some more coding and stuff, we did eventually make it work. Thank god, I swear it was... Uh, uh, this this game literally killed me <laughs> very badly, and I did add the player and the uh, animations, but as you can see, there was a slight issue where uh, the actual player that was playing the animation instead of your own character was uh, the the other players. What? What? So uh, yeah, you were in control of the animations for the other player, and I have no idea why, but yeah, that was a thing that happened apparently. And then I did eventually get the animations working and stuff. So uh, yeah, look at that. They turn red when they die. And here's the download task and stuff. So it's interactable for now, but we do change it at the end. And look at that. The task is actually synchronized across the network when you complete a task. And yeah, you can pretty much at this point of the game just walk around <laughs> and jump. And yeah, you can just do a bunch of download tasks once you make it to the... Uh, to the white boxes pretty much and that's pretty much all you can do at this moment not, You know not not too many exciting things right now, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there So here was the next version where I did add some uh, uh, UI for the uh, killer uh, or imposter and I also added the map so now if you press tab you actually get a uh, map that you can use to I don't know, tell where you are I guess. <laughs> now there's a slight issue where you can kind of tell where other players are from time to time, so yeah, there's that. Now uh, I did also add the uh, little uh, killing players to spawn a dead body, and at the moment it's a big bean. So, <laughs> oh, and I did make the lights uh, turn lights off button eventually work, but there's no actual way to freaking turn the lights back on, so yeah. So instead of making that right away, I instead made some other tests such as the refill test with the go that the icon again and I made the thermostat task and yes I know I spelled thermostat wrong but whatever. <laughs> and I did get it and put it in the game. And yeah here it is, uh, those other tests in the game. So I did add this other test which is a switch task and uh, I did add one more test, which uh, you will see here in a couple of seconds here. Uh, you should, maybe, if I, unless I forgot. It should be this, right? Yeah, look at that. I added the meteor test. So yeah, go dot default icons and the wise words of garbage. Wait, it's all icon.png? Always has been. Uh, yeah. And I did add the way, uh, way to turn off the light, turn the lights back on, and uh, yeah, apparently it wasn't working. Uh, let's try that again. Well, <laughs> okay, okay, it should work now. 
oh my god, thank god it actually worked. Uh, now we can actually check that one off the list. Uh, that, that took pretty long. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, it was about time I made the dead player model, so here we are back in Blender making the bone. And yeah, bone made, uh, cut the body in half, and stick bone and body. And there it is, dead body complete. And we actually added it into the engine and added some particles to give it some more, sp uh, you know, uh, I don't know, <laughs> just make it more entertaining, I guess. And I added that in the game. And, um, you'll see what happened here. <laughs> so, um, yeah. You'll see. <laughs> the particles don't stop and the body is oriented in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh my god, why? Uh, why? We did get it working eventually. Oh my god. And then I actually uh, went online and joined some shader code from uh, GD Script. Uh, I mean GD Quest. And yeah, we added that uh, to our game. And now we actually have a tune shader for our game here. Look at that. Uh, tune shader for the game. And we can actually properly kill people. So yeah, pretty much here here it is, the game, with a bunch of different colors, and you can walk around. If you're the imposter, you can kill the player, and spawn the dead body and stuff, and that's pretty much it. So far, I guess. I uh, just, you know, kill players. And stuff. Stand there, menacingly, as you, they stare into your soul. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But anyway, the last thing we had to do was actually make the map. And uh, here I am making the map. But after an hour of working on this thing, I was like, yeah, nah, nah, I don't want to sit here <laughs> making this anymore. You probably got to take another week just to get the map done. So I went online and... Um, yeah, I joined this uh, 3D map from Pablo PCB, and yeah, here it is uh, in the game. <laughs> Just like that, we have Among Us, where you can walk around, tells you where you are, and I did uh, change some stuff for the, you know, the interactables and tasks and stuff, so it actually tells you what tasks they are, and you can easily tell where the actual tasks are, and yeah. Go that icon for the win! <laughs> and now, if you go back to the... Oh, I did add a uh, some label to actually tell you how many tests are remaining. And as you saw there, uh, the map is working. If you go back to the cafeteria, you can actually click on the meeting button. And that will actually bring the voting screen. Where if you also report a body, this does the exact same thing, except the voting screen doesn't actually do anything. So you just kind of sit here for an entire minute and you kind of just discuss who you think the imposter is. And you try to stay the heck away from them. <laughs> so yeah, my game's more like a hide and seek among us game. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it, it works differently from the different game because I couldn't make the voting system. But, but, everything else does work. Uh which you will see. <laughs> so I did, I, like I said, I did add all the other stuff like the chatting functionality. So I do have chat where you can chat and stuff. And yeah, just with that, uh, here's some actual gameplay. For whatever reason, he was using magic. <laughs> because literally he left and then it was working perfectly randomization wise. <laughs> So I was like, what? I don't trust anyone. I don't trust anyone. That's the point of the game. <laughs> Run. Let's hide. <coughs> Not <laughs> yep, it is. <laughs> uh. Where the hell did I try? Oh, you died already, also? No, I was walking during a task and I went to where the hell I was oriented. <laughs> you guys are exploiting that. <laughs> that you can still move. Yeah. During tasks. 
<laughs> cheating over here. <laughs> no, it's not cheating, it's playing it's smart. Cheating. Play smart, not hard. I don't. I was an imposter. We talking about? I'm not even kidding me. I see wolf. So Cap is like gonna kill himself to like say, oh yeah, uh, um. <laughs> I, I, I'm definitely not an imposter. And he keeps walking past me. <laughs> I know it's you, Kappa. <laughs> Look at this guy. I know it's you. Run. Run. <laughs> oh, look at this dead body here. Oh wait, I'm dead, I can't report it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already trying to click E on the body. <laughs> I'm like, what's it not going on? When you try your best, but don't succeed. <laughs> I don't know what task I've done. Uh, don't worry, I'll use. I'll do the task, but not report. Imposter. I don't know, Kappa, um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. I killed it. And yeah, links to the 3D map as well as garbages and uh, GD Quest's channels will be in the description down below. Definitely check them out. It's thanks to Garbage that I even learned how to make 3D games, so definitely check them out. And yeah, if you liked the video, definitely consider leaving a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.